Ah, let's see what we've got for breakfast. Same old reconstituted, synthesized, recycled. It really tastes very good, but I sure am getting tired of it. There are only so many varieties that can be made out of this stuff. I'm sick and tired of every one. It's been over four months since I went beyond communications range of home base. It'll be another 13 months before I can communicate with my destination. This isolation is definitely having an effect on me. The only thing that's real to me now is the small space within this ship and the inky blackness all around it. I know I've only been in space just short of two years now, but it seems much longer. My whole life before this voyage seems so distant and unreal, like a dream. See if the computer can identify it. Thirty-two hours. I guess I'll just have to wait to find out what it is. I know it can't be another ship. We have nothing at all in this sector. It has to be a meteor. But on a collision course, odds are all against it. I should tell the computer to steer a wide course around it, but damn it, I'm curious. I'll wait till we get in sensor range before taking any action. That's what it is, all right. I guess it's just some kind of fantastic coincidence that it's on collision course with the Lone Star. Okay, computer, let's see if you can plot a wide course around that thing without getting us hopelessly lost. Good. Now that all the excitement is over with, maybe I can get some sleep. fast. I'm not letting the computer get me out of this. Switching to manual. Full power. <laughs> Damn thing must be magnetically attracted to the ship for something. Let's take a look at it. Top speed now. Doesn't look like I'm shaking it. Can't outrun it. Only one thing to do. Don't know if this is going to work, but it's my only chance. Phew. 
really didn't think I had enough laser power to deflect it. Don't know why that thing came at me like that. Almost as if it were under intelligent control. Nah, it must have been some weird sort of magnetic gravitational attraction. I'm sure the science boys will figure it out when they analyze my computer tapes. Really spooky. And I was complaining about how boring this trip was.